All right. Hello, everyone. This is Crota doing round one of my draft um, using the hex. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, that is this is a very good opening hand. I will I will definitely keep this and goes straight at it. Hold on a second. All right, let's see. Let's go back to here. Uh, if I attack, well, hmm.
I'll just attack with that. I, I, I've been placing down the pressure a little bit too hard. Forgot to open up with the good luck, have fun. Okay, he, he drew into nothing. Alright, so round one. Um, or game one, round one. Went very, very easy for me. Um, let's take a look. I'm trying to remember what else he had in his deck that I should perhaps be concerned about. Uh, taking out a Boomsmith and putting, a, uh, or putting in a Stargazer um, might actually work out here. Smash Dawn, Sky Dancer. Yes. You know what? I, I, I don't want to... Well, adding a Line Lash might help just to get around... Uh, because, yeah, because he, he does have some... he did I did see a Spirit Eagle, so he probably does have more than just one flyer here. Grow Whisperer, large, let's see, ratios. 17 troops, I can get... I can lose one troop. Which troop do I want to lose? I'll lose a large. Or do I want to keep the large and lose... No, I'll keep the large and I'll lose a Sky, da sky Gazer. Getting two lyricists and just being able to ramp up like that, that was um, that was surprising. That was very, very surprising, to be honest. I was not expecting it to be to quite be that strong. Um, quick act three basic actions, so there's the fiery indonations. Four quick actions, vine lash, story narration, story narration, lunge. Okay. So I got I got some combat I got four combat tricks and three straight removal in the fiery indonations. And we'll see how where this goes next. Um, I don't know if my opponent. Hopefully, my opponent just didn't flat out drop. Nope. He. We're, we're going to be going in on into game number two now. Let's let's do this. Getting the Gigantosaur on turn 5 was very problematic for him. Not like that guy. Should not have attacked. I should not have attacked. I needed the Niblin scripture to chump block this guy. I'm in trouble. <sighs> Freak. I needed the skirmisher to chump block this guy. I cannot let him deal combat damage to me off of the, the terrorist. Not let him get 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 it out. Period. I can't let I cannot let him get that out. Lunge here? Most likely he'll lunge there. Uh, 
but I'll have a Grove Whisper next turn, so it'll be a 4-5 Spell Shield, which will significantly help me in the long run. He'll be able to continually attack me with the Phantom. I shouldn't, I just shouldn't have played anything. I shouldn't have attacked last turn. Okay, he, he's actually playing it conservatively too. Okay, there's a dead eye slicer. I'm gonna shift that over to something. Okay. And then you can revert that to keep it. You could have attacked with the, the skirmisher. Oh, sheesh. It's gonna be a five. Gosh. And here I was thinking I was okay. Chump blockers, I need more chump blockers. I need a shard next turn. Oh, how did I get into this situation? Oh, firing donation there. Okay. Hmm. I don't have to worry about that guy then. Well, he could have a shard. If he has a shard, then I, I, I obviously have to worry about it. Oh, why didn't he actually give it to the Chimera Guard? Okay, if he has a, if he's holding onto a shard here, then hats off to him. Um, he, he deserves this. If he's holding onto a shard here. See, I thought he would have just shifted, reverted this, shifted it over again to give it double the power. Oh my gosh, uh, 
I need a fiery indignation badly. A fiery indignation badly. Okay, well, he can shift this over to deal... Yeah, okay, he's gonna... He's gonna deal enough damage then. I... I messed up. Yep. Okay, yeah, he's got it. Let me see. Yep. Going first really makes a difference. The deck's solid. His deck is solid as well. I didn't get any fiery indignations, and I used the vine lash on the wrong thing. Um, so my mistake there. I'm gonna t put in the boomsmith, take out the stargazer because of that, uh, that flyer. I, I need to stop that flyer. And funny, the Ashwood Blade Master and the Sky Dancer. I, I never got any tree guards or sky guards. <sighs> kind of wish I did. Flaming Passion for like a gilded liar. Maybe I should have thrown in the skirmisher and taken out the Niblin. Just so I have that battle ability. Being able to battle something. Ooh. He has the mole. Ooh, he has the mole again. Uh, I have a very... Uh, I, well, I have an advantage now. As long as I don't mess things up here, I should be fine. Ooh. Okay. that of course he will ah oh, boomsmith the skewer. Not the guy I wanted to see. But you're not going to be able to block my guy. And I'm going to be able to block your guy. I'm 
gonna block your terror. All this without a lyricist. Wow. Seven shards in 28 cards. That means I got one. In, no, in 12 cards. That means I got one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Or five cards, yeah. The Gigantosaur was generated. He's got three cards in hand. If he has a skewer here, then he has me. Well, he has my Deathmask Assailant. I just, I just don't want to deal with that guy every turn. D drafted a very solid deck. There's this Dead Eye Slicer. Just in case he has anything that can actually pump. Deal combat damage. You saw that coming a mile away. I don't want to necessarily pump because he could he could have a pride's fall. Okay. 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 He's not going to attack with that. He has to block one. get two packs? Am I going to get two packs at least? Nope, got the game. All right, I'm moving on to round two. I have not done that in like two weeks. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, hopefully all the deck will continue to run like it's supposed to. Thanks for watching.